Hello, my name is Trismegistus and this is Stardew Valley. We are on day 22 of fall of our first year. We uh, have no birthdays due this episode. I'm not going to do anything stupid like head into the skull cave again or anything like that. Not actually quite sure what I'm going to do this episode to be honest with you. So cloudy gusts of wind in terms of weather. Spirits feel neutral, so that doesn't really help me. Living off the land. Fish fuckers, walleye. You can find this fish on rainy evenings during the fall and winter. It can be found in any freshwater location. Yeah, so we got nothing due. Um, mm, I need to grab that stuff that we left left behind yesterday. It's obviously an even day, so we need can we can go and grab our we can go and grab our mushrooms. Okay. Let's see how the girls are doing. Still only in a one and a half hearts. Ah, we are fully cowed. Okay, so I can grab the pail. Milk pail. And hopefully, milk these girls. So, although they're already on half a hut. So they are now uh, proper cows. What we'll do, we'll turn that off. Because that is um, allowed pregnancy. So they would spawn effectively. Um, other, I know what I will do, I'll put the milk in there so we can get cheese. And what am I going to put in there? So, oh, we have got, we've got silver, silver large ones, so I can show you the price comparison on those. Um, what am I going to do? I will put that in the mayonnaise machine. If I'm going to show you the price card person, I need to carry them with me, don't I? To stick them in the in the thing. That's I, I, <coughs> I'm not due any other turn-ins, am I? So the artisan, we're making a cheese. Um, at some point, we will get apple and pomegranate um, as as fallbacks, but next season or mm, certainly uh, beginning of next year, we'll get get a goat. So we'll cover that one as well. Animal bundle, here we go. So we've got those two. The large milk requires us to, to level up. I am wondering about getting a duck. You know, for over over winter. Mm -hmm. So the craft room, we've got the construction and the winter forage. So in theory we could get both of those fairly close to done. You know, caught by early early winter. The fish is more problematic, and then we got this lad. So, what I could do is look at this chef's bundle, because I oh no, I need truffle anyway. But I can do the fried egg, and I can see if I can do mackie roll. Dies. Yeah. Okay, so we'll grab these. So what I really need is wood. Um, this should be wild honey again, isn't it? Yeah. For the things we're growing. So I can sell that. That. No, let's show you the price comparison. We've also obviously got the gold mayonnaise. And anything else we can sell. Let's we'll sell the mushrooms and that. Should I show you show your golden milk, or should I stick it in my fridge? Probably better off sticking it in the fridge actually. The uh, <coughs> I've taken the pail with me. Shouldn't have done that. Um, okay.
So, if I want to make more of them, I really need wood, don't I? Wood is the big thing we're missing. I'm going to dash over, put that back in the pile. Put the pile back in there. One of the things I forgot about with putting because some of these recipes, because um, what it'll tend to do, it, it doesn't sort of distinguish between uh, what you're putting in, if that, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, if you, so remember we've got salmon there, and salmon's a recipe, but it's also one of our first fish. So if we do something like the Mackie roll, that count, that'll just take any fish, and I think it literally eats them from left to right. So. You could easily end up in a situation where you, you, know, you, you do the salmon, you want to do the salmon recipe, but um, you've accidentally used it in Mackie roll or something. Um, so there's your salmon dinner. Um, yeah, so really we should take the fish out. But how many spaces have I got in there? I've not got too many spaces, you see. So yeah, I could probably fit them all in, I think, couldn't I? No, I don't think I can. No, I can't. Um, how am I going to organise that then? What I could do, I could put these sort of junky ones in there instead. I could also put tomatoes. Tomatoes aren't too bad, they're using loads of recipes. So keep them in the fridge. So we can still make Mackie roll, we see, because we've got the old thing there. So can I do that? I haven't got any eggs in here, have I? No, I need to do some eggs so I can do that fried egg as part of the turn in. Um, right then, so what am I going to do? I need to get wood. So, to get wood, I can clear out... Why have I got four beers in there? I guess I must have just chucked them in at some point. So, I, one of the things I can do, or I want to do, is it, again, clear this back a bit. so that we don't accidentally damage any of our corn. And then I want to check this. 346 or 480. So, yeah, we are uh, needing uh, more grass, more hay rather. And uh, therefore a bit of a, a clearance day. Or a bit of time spent clearing. I don't need to do anything else. This is one of the other things with the animals. They make a lot of noise. A lot of random noise. Mooing and stuff. Okay, we now need to get onto tree duty, really. I think this is going to go into the water. Oops. No. Okay. Generally, they'll fall the opposite way to the way you're pointing. Do it the up, you know, when you're going up at them, 
You can be a bit more random which way they go. Energy. I might have one of these autumn bounties. See how much that's recovered. This is the thing I was saying about with that when you have the small berries, you can just manage it a bit better. Oh well, these things happen. So what you do at the end of the season, end of autumn, um, we will hack down all of this grass that's left, or any grass that's left, uh, because are the cow are they all gone in? They normally go in at about five o'clock. They're quite well behaved animals, um, so you can actually shut it earlier. I just obviously, obviously I've uh, intending not to do that because. Actually, we'll put the eggs in the thing. Might as well. Might as well put them in the uh, in the kitchen. Seedy things. These are keepers. Seedy things. That wants to go in the other jobby and sell that, obviously. Uh, and now our first cheese. And that's a turn in, of course. Let's see if we can empty the. Oh, free up the greenhouse a bit. Where's Horton Oh, there it is. I like doing this with the hard hat on. Feels a bit more uh, appropriate. You can, if you actually get sort of hats that are appropriate to most of the jobs, I think. In memory. Uh, and so you can sort of role play it a bit more. Trying to free up here, I'm trying to show you is Grandpa Shrine. So, just want you to wait for my return on the dawn of the third year, Grandpa. So, this is uh, Grandpa's Shrine, okay? And as it says there, at the, on the dawn of the third year, Grandpa's ghost will turn up because, you know, that's what ghosts do. 
uh, and essentially make an assessment of how well you've done. Now what it's doing is looking at a whole load of stuff that you've achieved um, and essentially scoring those achievements to say whether you, you know, did a good job. Uh, he'll show up unbidden. He won't, you don't you don't have to do anything for him to show up. He just literally just shows up. Um, and it's all about whether you, for example, if you manage to get married and have two children, then that count that gets you know, lots of points for that. Um, if you've done all of the community centre stuff, you know, and, and you've finished that whole plot line, then that that counts as well. That's quite a lot of points for that. Uh, and there's other things. It's like if your um, pet loves you. So in other words, if the cat loves you, and you can tell the cat loves you, uh, because there is literally a pop-up that says, you know, your pet now likes you or admires you or adores you or something like that. Um, so you're not you're not sort of left in the dark as to whether your cat finally loves you. Or dog, of course, you might have a dog. Um, uh, but yeah, so we will attempt to do our best to get a good score from Grampy. How are we doing with uh, good old Gramps? So I want a cell then. I want everything else. I want a cell then as well. So we will pop the side in there. Along with the cheese and the thing, we will put oh no, the seeds go in there as well. We will pop this in here, all this stuff. So I should now be able to build a whole load more cakes and stuff. We've now got eggs. So if I make a Maggie roll and a fried egg, those are two of our other turnings. So a trip to the um, community center is is not unworthwhile now because uh, we can turn in this cheese, make a roll, the egg. Um, wasn't there something else? No, yeah, don't think so. Yeah, so. Uh, what was I going to say? There's something else I was going to say. Oh, we should now be able to make a good chunk of. Uh, I can't remember what the items you need are. Uh, kegs and preserve jars. So, uh, it's a time 11.30. So, if I build four of them. So, that gets us four preserve jars. So I don't want to go too far down the route of, uh, I really want to get access there. Um, where else can I put these? Uh, but they won't be in the way. Um, I could just put them here or something, couldn't I? So I need four more. Also put build some more kegs. One, two, three, four. What five of those? I should tidy. I should reorganise this a bit better. Um, really, we need a bar, not a bar. A uh, I don't. I can't remember what it's called. This a storage one. And as well, put one. There wasn't we? Um, I built five more, didn't I? Okay. 
So let's get to bed because it's half one already. Did something go cluck then? That was odd. Why did something go cluck? Uh, Palau. Oh, cool. I don't know what that was then, last night. I hope we haven't lost a chicken. It's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed. Today, luck will not be on your side. Uh, sisters, I'm really glad you've become part of our community. I've been close to 500 gold check from the Stardew Valley Agricultural Fund to help continue your good work. Maybe you can buy some more seeds with it. Sincerely, Mr. Lewis. Preserved Charles, have we got? We've got 10 now, haven't we? No. Yeah, I've got 10 now, so having sort of round numbers is fine. But it might take that down to 30. That gives us then exactly 600 of them. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know if we'll get another harvest, but we'll see what we end up with. We've now got, we've got 15 of them, haven't we? So we could top it up with three wheat uh, to round that up as well. Why have I got a... Well, because I, I prefer to do these all at once, so I'm going to actually... Um, let them all finish, basically. You see what I mean? So it's a pain in the backside doing this. Okay, so we need to go over and sort out our... You can milk cows every day, can't you? I think. Yeah. How are we doing heaven as well? Okay, still half a star. Open that up. We will put one of those in there, the other one we'll put in the in the um, fridge. I didn't look at the car prices of the, the egg things, did I? I was gonna show that. We well, can freeze frame it I guess. If you're interested. This, me being slightly chaotic, is just me being me anyway, but this is one of the reasons why I want to try and plan out a layout for, the, for what we do next year, and to clear all that area out, so that uh, it's more, how to put it, more uh, guided. 
Oh, I put the bloody milk pail. I kept the bloody milk pail again. I could always stick it in here. Well, that's filling up quite rapidly now. So, oh, buds. Gone in here, okay, as well as the ingredients. Yeah, might as well stick all in there. We will put that milk in there. Then we will sell those, and then we will think what the heck we're going to do today. Um, so. Let me just check check my thing. I want to know how much. Because what? Oh. Uh, what I want to know is how much it will cost me in terms of materials and money to upgrade the barn and the coop. So a big barn costs 12 grand, 450 wood and 200 stone. A big coop costs 10 grand. 400 wood and 150 stone. So we've got all the stone. It's the wood we're short on. We would need 950 wood to upgrade both of those. A shed is also 300 wood. Right. And upgrading our house is actually hardwood next. So, how much hardwood have I actually got? I think we'd be all right with money, so I would need I need you know two stacks worth of wood. So I gotta go round and chop wood, I think. So to achieve that, what I'm thinking of doing, yeah, is paying some fairly regular visits to the. Secret garden. When I do, to chop down some trees as well, normal trees. Because this will also help our forage. Our forage was only level 8, wasn't it? The wood is counts as forage item, basically. One of the best ways of leveling the foraging because you're obviously getting whatever it is 12 wood each time. Well, 21 wood we got there. I'm wondering if we can chop all of the trees in this area. Don't know. What I could do is make a whole load of 
field snacks, couldn't they? Because they're relatively, they're like smaller energy. We are an absolute chopping machine. fish off the edge there. It's just a curtain. Yeah. Oh, you can! It's <laughs> a bit weird. Whoa. He was a bit feisty, wasn't he? Oh, isn't the tiger trout one of our... It is! Ha ha! All of these trees will regrow, by the way. There's, uh, there's no harm done. They're chopping these trees. It does, however, get us you know, uh, foraging. I suspect we may level up. We have chopped a lot of trees. And acquired a lot of wood. Now, you can chop this tree, but there's no point because most of it goes in the water, basically. What I was thinking about doing was, if I can, more like it, just to see if I can, really. Uh, if I chop, and they weren't, I mean, not all of, obviously some of these trees were, you know, uh, not choppable, because, oh, well, I, I could, these, you know, tiny ones. It's a bit of a, um, a bit of a waste of energy, chopping the small ones. Obviously, I do it to clear out the way, you know, uh, clear out the way. Uh, so yeah, that's all of the trees, basically, that were available, chopped. Uh, and I was thinking, because it's half eight, we could um, just do a little bit of fishing here, yeah, maybe. Um, that's the big one, 670 wood. Let's see if we get anything interesting. I think I will head over to the community centre, actually, because we've got loads of stuff we can hand in. I don't think any of it completes anything, does it? I don't think so. But we can shut up our coops and stuff. Grab the mayo and all that. Cheese, mayo. 
I'm going to put that in there. I might as well. Um, what time will it be? It'll be... Uh, I might not... No, I might not wait for time. Um, put them away. So we've now got more than a... Well, we've got a stack and a little bit of wood. So we can, we there have got, therefore got enough wood, oh, excuse me, to um, upgrade both the barn and the chicken coop, which is good, really good. Um, I will, the tiger trout is a hand in, isn't it? So we're basically full now, because this is what I was thinking, we, I've sort of filled this up with rubbish. Um, hmm. Oops. So it's just I'm going to sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. What about the bream of it? Sell the silver chub might as well space saving. Blackberry, sell that one. Put the mayo in the fridge. Cheese is used for recipes as well. You don't need to keep huge stacks of food, really. But no, no, not the silver one. The gold one, maybe. I'll put the bream in there, but maybe all of those other things we will sell. What time is it? Ten fifty. That's a bit late to be going to the. The thing. So what I might do instead, I will all of this. Because we do have another, we have a birthday coming up, don't we? Yeah, George tomorrow. Now, what does George like? I think George, despite uh, liking the hot pepper thing. Fried mushrooms or leeks. They're very easy for me to do, and he loves them. So, recipe wise, have I got fried mushrooms? I don't think I have, have I? I can rye, but it's yam, tracksuit, fried mushrooms. Common mushroom and morel and oil. Did I put mushrooms in here? I did. Along with morel. So, we can sort George out with that. We've then got all of these turn-ins that I can do. As well as that. Cheese is a turn-in, was it? So then, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight and nine. Those are all of our Yungi items. So So that's cool. What we could do, because it was ten grand, wasn't it, to upgrade the coop. See what I'm just what I'm thinking with the coop is we have upgrade it as soon as we can. Right? And then we and we get a duck so that we can get a duck egg and and start the progress on you know doing the duck level uh, you know leveling up the duck as it were um, so that we can get a duck feather because you have to get they have to be like properly you know um, pardon me properly you know high level to drop ducks uh, to drop 
400 wood and 150 stone. Uh, yeah, they have to be properly high level before they start dropping. Okay, so the plan for tomorrow is we will do George. We will do the. Uh, we will go and see Clint to to process those. Might as well. We will see Robin. We will also do these handings. I'll put them actually like that sort of order. Something like that. So community centre wise, we would need large out large milk, large goat's milk. So you, you said we'll get the duck, duck's egg. And then we just got the goat to do basically for us to to achieve that. Then the artisan stuff, so we're handing in the cheese. Goat's cheese again. You know, we'll get goats first thing in winter, or maybe halfway through winter, something like that, depending on how we're doing. But we've also we've got apples and pomegranates on the way. Crafts room, we could actually do that as well now. In fact we will do that as well. Um, so, because uh, it's 99, so especially 200, take off a couple, isn't it? So, 9200, so if I make that 600, we've got, we've got the wood for that as well. And that completes that one. That one we will literally get as soon as, you know, snow yams and crocuses are available. And then it's basically fish, uh, eels, we, we need to get eels. I'm pretty sure they're not available until particular points. Wood skip. It told me where wood skip was, where, doesn't it? Tilapia and wood snapper, fine. So what we can do here, so the rabbit's foot's going to take a while, but we'll get, we're getting pomegranates. Apples, of course, is on the way. Chefs, we're going to turn in that and that and truffle. And dyes, I say cabbages later. And duck feather is the thing we want to try and start leveling up the duck for. Okay, so we're going to have a busy, busy old day tomorrow. So let's let's get a bit of a bit of an early night. Yeah, thought we might. Oh, it's farming we've leveled up. Okay. Artisan goods, wine, cheese, oil, etc. worth 40% more. I am going to check. Because growing 10% faster might actually be a bit useful. I don't know. Um, the trouble with that one. Artisan goods. Now do beer. Does beer count as an artisan good? It does. So we're going to be better doing that artisan one, probably. The thing, the problem particularly with the agriculturalist is if something takes um, seven days right, to, to grow, then if it grows 10% faster, then, as I understand it, what it means by that, you would be saving 0.7 days. Right? So it takes 6.3 days. Well, 6.3 days is effectively seven days, because they, you know, they they're ready for harvest in the morning, aren't they? So it's only if something takes more than 10 days are you actually going to save a day, I think. And there's not actually that many crops that take more than 10 days. No. The sort of exception is if you're going to obviously go, you know, full on greenhouse, you can actually put like speed grow and stuff on, um, and and it. Well, that's the other thing you. You could combine it with speed grow to get the effect, but we'll go artisan because beer counts. Ah, we did also level up foraging, okay. Rain totem. Okay, so that was a much better episode compared to last time. Last time was a bit of a mess, um, to be totally frank. Um, I think that might actually have been to make an admission. Oh, we've had, has that kicked in already? Because they would have been worth 300, wouldn't they? 
and three fives are 15 grand and it's actually 2100 so I think that's kicked in already I thought it might kick in from tomorrow so it's the pale ales that you know obviously are a thing I don't know that jellies I would not sell any uh, count as unless there's no not second page uh, foraging is all of that stuff fishing we just got a couple of chub didn't we or one chub I think. Okay, so that's the end of day 23 and the end of this episode. If you've been watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and you might consider coming back for another one. I've been Tris Magistus. This has been Stardew Valley. Thanks for watching. Cheers.